You think you know Joss Whedon? Well, here's some things you may not have known about the creator of Buffy. Joss Whedon was born into film. His father, Tom Whedon, was a screenwriter for the Golden Girls in the 80s and Alice in the 70s. Whedon's mother, Anne Lee Stearns, was an actress for a time and acted alongside her future husband in a play at Harvard Radcliffe Dramatic Club. Even Whedon's grandfather, John Whedon, was in the business, having worked on the Dick Van Dyke Show in the 60s as well as the Donna Reed Show in the 1950s. His brothers Jed and Zach Whedon are also writers for both print and film. Whedon graduated from Wesleyan University in Connecticut in 1987 with a degree in women's studies and film. His first real position in the industry was as a staff writer for Roseanne. Whedon also doctored scripts for a number of movies, including Alien Resurrection, Toy Story, and Waterworld, among others. However, he strongly disliked the work despite the financial stability the job offered him. Quote, I never had less fun succeeding at a job in my life. When Whedon was given the Toy Story script, he said, quote, it was in shambles but he thoroughly enjoyed the subject and thought it was gold. He completely reworked the script and took out a lot of the disjointed, nonsensical stuff, but added one crucial, memorable detail, Rex. Quote, I went up to Pixar and stayed there for weeks and wrote for, I think, four months before I got greenlit and completely overhauled the script. There were some very basic things in there that stayed in there. The characters were pretty much in place except for the dinosaur, which was mine. Whedon is a fan of the progressive rock band Yes, in fact, he's so much of a fan for Yes that he named his own production company, Mutant Enemy, after a line in their song, And You and I. He even named his typewriter, Mutant Enemy. After having written and directed The Avengers, Whedon admitted in an interview that despite having some drawbacks in comparison to film, he preferred television. Quote, I think ultimately, gun to my head, TV is the place. Being able to spend years with a character to really develop them, to understand them, to challenge the actor, to learn from the actor, to work with a team of writers, that experience is so fulfilling. The idea of putting something out there and letting it grow is really exciting. Whedon supports feminism, although avoids labeling himself as such. He credits his mother, who herself is a feminist, as inspiring the female lead characters he writes to combat the accepted subversion he feels is rife in Hollywood. Quote, I get into the world and I hear the things people are saying. Then I get to Hollywood and hear the very casual, almost insidious misogyny that runs through so much of the fiction. It was just staggering to me. He even had a subscription to a feminist teen magazine, Sassy, between 1988 and 1994. Additionally, Whedon cites Kitty Pride from the X-Men comics as his primary inspiration for Buffy. Whedon co-wrote the script for the comedy horror film Cabin in the Woods with director Drew Goddard in only three days. They focused themselves on penning at minimum 15 pages a day. Whedon felt the film differentiated itself from others in its genre by going against the tropes of treating characters as expendable. Joss Whedon is a self-described workaholic. Quote, it's actually a problem. Sometimes it's adorable and sometimes it's not. Not to get all dark and weird, but it is something I need to address. He realized this problem in 2012 when he shot the entirety of Much To Do About Nothing in 12 days during his contractual two-week vacation from the post-production of Avengers. For fear of never getting to work on his own projects again, Whedon confirmed his exit from Marvel in early 2016. The break was amicable and not fueled by disdain of any sort. Whedon explained, quote, I made a completely clean break. Not because we had a falling out, just because I was like, I can't. If I was still there going, well, here are my thoughts on this film, I'd be there every day. I wouldn't do anything else because there are a lot of films, and it's a lot of fun. It's very seductive. So when you put your little fairy dust on things and just improve them slightly, and they actually listen to you, I was a script doctor for a long time, and the part where they listened to you was very rare. So it was very important for my own self to go, we can still be friends, but... And here's a bonus one. Apparently, it was Whedon's asking for an early renewal on the television series Angel in its fifth season that acted as the final nail in the show's coffin. The WB was in the midst of preparing a number of new shows and was extremely hesitant to move forward on Angel, an older, more expensive endeavor. When pushed, Jordan Levin, the head of WB at the time, cut the show in favor of testing the waters with new programming. A producer and collaborator of Whedon's, David Fury, fervently believes that if not pushed to make this snap decision, Angel would have gone on longer than it did. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.